sir i think uh, not audible sir Amiya has sent requests, but he is not able to get in. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Ah, yeah. Okay. Namaste, sir. Namaste, ma'am. Namaste. Namaste. Oh. But why I can't see ma'am in a uh, busy? Why? I can I see don't... you, Gita. Yeah. I can't see Abhijit. Huh? I can see all of you. How are you both? Yeah, good. Ma'am, good. How are you? Good, good. Thank yeah, you. Fine. No problem. We will take care yeah, of we'll the start. audio. Yeah. Yeah, we will start. <clears throat> ऑडियंस uh, में सबको चारों लोग दिख रहे हैं प्लीज से यस ओके ओके सो नमस्ते मैम एंड सर एंड अभिजीत वेलकम uh this is our last episode conclusive episode uh um, so we will proceed our uh, this episode <clears throat> i would like to introduce ma'am and sir uh, our guest speaker dr rajkumar sir and dr ramya krishnan ma'am uh, pioneer of spba dr rajkumar sir um associate professor and hod of roganidana department government of puducherry mahi and dr ramya krishnan ma'am associate professor and hod of dravaguna department government of puducherry mahi myself sangeeta from bhopal and abhijit from gujarat we both welcome our guest speaker on our last uh, episode of this topic how to learn to understand ayurveda Thank you. So uh, you know, uh, like uh, before, uh, like this is more of our conclusive video. So uh, whatever uh, we have uh, learned in this fifteen episode, I would just like to brief all those things. कि मैम एंड सर ने जो भी हमारी जो जर्नी स्टार्ट हुई थी फ्रॉम मार्च टू नवंबर this is 9th november i'll like to just conclude whatever things the uh, wrong curriculum which we have pointed out or the things uh, with the all those things uh, with the solution also not only we have pointed the mistake but we have come out with solution also so uh, <clears throat> with the first year itself i would like to say ki uh the first year in first year syllabus the thing has to be like fundamental science has to be added with three papers sanskrit padarth vigyan and basic science and sanskrit has to be taught in uh, uh, the grammar uh, sanskrit grammar has to be taught in ayurveda shlokas and not in some uh, sanskrit shlokas so that all the anvay and everything has to be understand in ayurveda shloka itself padarth vigyana being in logs of nature it has to be uh, like um, uh, like they help us to understand explore and treat so they are just the tool with which we explore the siddhantas of the ayurveda so that much only padarth vigyana is needed and unnecessary darshan and uh, everything has not needed uh, in padarth vigyana and uh, uh, in history it can be learned but it is not necessary for exam purpose um also like uh, kriya sharir and rachna sharir the lab practicals which we do is not needed actually as modern practical is not needed all the lab practicals which we do unnecessarily 
it has to be replaced with uh, applied ayurveda practicals uh, like prakriti vikriti sar sahanan etc has to be uh, exp- uh, has to be explained in patient itself and uh, all like in rachana sharir also all the marma ghat roga marg everything has to be exp- uh, explored in anatomy uh, in first year also research methodology should be included in first year itself so that uh, uh, all the nirdesh updesh everything how to examine by pramanas uh, from first year itself a student will understand so that a student will be uh, in professional track from first year itself in second year uh, we have seen that uh, dravya guna uh um, like uh, we need not like ram naam roop gun we not just give importance to that only mode of application has to be given more importance as we are, our things has based on guna siddhanta so that has to be explored and uh, rasa panchak which is a crucial pharmacodynamics of dg has to be explored yukti and earth has to be focused and uh, uh, rogna karma bhashajan karma and doshagna karma has to be explored in every the, of every dravyas and the syllabus should be in shrotas wise has to be dravya uh, uh, has to be listed in shrotas wise for uh, uh, rasha shastra also uh, same things is applicable in roga nidana cause effect mechanism has to be explored of every uh, things every disease and uh, uh, nidana panchak rog rogi pariksha has to be uh, explored and explained in patient of in opd and ipd level and rationalized standard and uniform standard has to be um, has to be explained and has to be uh, uniformly made so that uh, student will understand that and they will not become as like uh, every everything which is been told is true for a uh, so basically uh, these are the things which was crucial in first second year and every uh, all the subjects has to be clinical oriented every every subject is clinically uh, we need uh, clinical opds for every every subjects uh, in related to agatantra also all the uh, side effects of modern medicine vaccine vaccines and everything has to be taught in agatantra practical has to be taught to everything uh, which we study in agatantra has to be taught in uh, agatantra and uh, in opd is in opd level and unnecessary things has to be uh, uh, removed from syllabus so stravita should not be there at all as a subject it should be included in basic science itself and uh, sri prasuti all the physiology the spo axis uh, have which we study but we don't know how uh, with ayurveda we can correlate has to be explained in basic science and uh, in uh, pathology in roga nidana so that when we study uh, sri and prasuti we do not get confused for kai chikitsa also the mere correlations of disease and um, with this vyadhi this modern disease is very wrong thing which is going on so if we will be in track from first year itself kai chikitsa also will become uh, an easy subject like uh, we will understand all those things <clears throat> so just copying mbbs syllabus is not at all an uh, upgrade of uh, ayurveda it just an degraded uh, degradation of ayurveda only and also the um, also the resource research methodology which is a, our science is a deterministic science based on deductive reasoning so uh, has to it has to be done on ayurveda siddhant itself from first year itself not in final year with modern parameter and um, also all the as we have covered shalya shalake also that uh, procedures which we do uh, in um, uh, the procedure like the surgery uh, modern people can teach us how to do but pre and post operative things has to be in our control only and has to be managed by ayurveda itself and um, panchakarma should not be an uh, different subject it should be in kaya chikitsa itself so so that uh, um uh, a practitioner will not think from here, from panchakarma point of view because it is just an part of ayurveda not uh just you know with panchakarma we can treat uh, patient ja bagala teacher 
so uh, this was the just a brief uh, introduction which we have seen in uh, uh, all the 15 episode and uh, i'll just request everybody to just watch all those things which have uh, discussed uh, by us uh, with ma'am and sir uh, in youtube channel bharat mission bishak so that you can clarify all those things which has been pointed out and uh, not only you will get the problems you will get the solution also <clears throat> So Abhiji, can you hear me? Because I yeah. can't see you. Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So as we have uh, done a survey, you know, कि yeah. हमने survey किया था और हमने देखा था हमने तीन चीजों को classify किया था students, faculties okay. और doctors. doctors. And uh, कि उनको practical क्या difficulties देखने को मिली थी, hmm. right? So, yes. So या सो स्टूडेंट्स में हमने देखने को मिला था कि वॉट एवर इज टॉट इज नॉट रियली नीडेड एंड वॉट एवर इज नीडेड इज नॉट रियली टॉट मतलब कि हम जो थ्योरी में जो थ्योरी पढ़ते हैं वो प्रैक्टिस में देखने को नहीं मिलती और जो प्रैक्टिस में देख रहे हैं वो थ्योरी में नहीं देखने को मिलती है और जो हम प्रैक्टिस में देख रहे हैं वो तो और भी बेकार है क्योंकि जो हम प्रैक्टिस में देख रहे हैं वो तो जितने लोगों के पास जाओगे उतना डिफरेंट है और तो सारे लाइक कहीं पे हिट एंड ट्रायल जैसा रिजल्ट मिल गया तो भी अच्छा मतलब हो गया चलो ठीक है और नहीं मिला तो फिर लाइक आयुर्वेदा तो वैसे भी आउटडेटेड है सो दिस इज आर द मेन कंसर्न लाइक कि थ्योरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल चीजें अलग होती हैं और हमें मतलब वॉट एवर वी स्टडी हमें कोई भी एलेबोरेशन ट्रांसलेशन चीजें देखने को ही नहीं मिल रही है मॉडर्न में चीजें कितनी क्लैरिफाइड है चाहे एनाटॉमी हो फिजियोलॉजी वो सारी चीजें समझ में आ रही है पर हम जब संहिता पढ़ते हैं तो हमें कुछ भी नहीं समझ में आता है कि हम उसे प्रैक्टिकली कैसे अप्लाई करें और पेशेंट में अपने ऊपर कैसे अप्लाई करें फीवर तक कैसे ठीक करें वो तक नहीं आता है एक बच्चे को बच्चे को क्या मुझे लगता है कि को भी नहीं आता होगा कि आयुर्वेद से फीवर को कैसे ठीक करें सो सो दिस अबाउट ऑल कंसर्न लाइक मैंने अगर मैं सार में बता रही हूँ क्योंकि सबका ले दे के एक ही पॉइंट था कि थ्योरी अलग है प्रैक्टिकल अलग है तो लाइक वाई वी आर वेस्टिंग अवर टाइम इन थ्योरी राइट अगर सब कुछ अलग है तो एंड ऑल्सो लाइक ऑल दो लाइक जैसे हम फेक प्रैक्टिकल प्रैक्टिकल्स करते हैं या फेक जो है कि फाइल्स भरना आईपीडी फाइल्स भरना तो एट द एंड ऑफ बी एम एस वी आर जस्ट कमिंग आउट विथ वी वनरेबिलिटी स्टेट जहां पे हमें इंफीरियर फील होता है बिकॉज वी हैव एंड लर्न एनी थिंग वर्थ लर्निंग ऐसा कुछ हुआ ही नहीं है सो so, दो सारे स्टूडेंट्स का फ्रस्ट्रेशन रहता है क्योंकि अगर आयुर्वेद साइंटिफिक अगर साइंटिफिक तरीके से टीचिंग हो रही होती तो मुझे नहीं लगता है कि आज आयुर्वेदा का ये हाल होता आयुर्वेदा का आज अगर ये हाल है तो कहीं ना कहीं प्रॉब्लम कहाँ है तो ऑब्वियसली हमको लगता है कि प्रॉब्लम जो है कि फंडिंग में है इधर है उधर है पचास लोगों के पचास तरीक वो रहते हैं बताने के लिए बट एक्चुअल में प्रॉब्लम हमें भी पता है कि करिकुलम में ही प्रॉब्लम है क्योंकि हमें वहीं से वीक बनाया जा रहा है तो तुम्हारा इस पे क्या कहना है मेरा ये कहना है कि ऑब्वियसली करिकुलम में प्रॉब्लम है बट कोई भी क्वेश्चन नहीं उठा रहा है पूरे बहुत लीजेंड्स है बहुत सारी बातें करेंगे बहुत कुंभ मेले आयोजित करेंगे बहुत बड़े बड़े सेमिनार्स बोलेंगे पर कोई भी करिकुलम के ऊपर नहीं बोलेगा कि क्या चेंज और चेंज जरूरी है बिकॉज तभी तो ये हाल है ना और जैसे कि एक दूसरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि हम खुद अगर हमको पथ्य फॉलो करना है कॉलेज में तो हमको फैसिलिटीज नहीं दी जाती हॉस्टल में हमारे लिए भी फैसिलिटीज नहीं मिलती और मतलब आयुर्वेद कॉलेज में अगर हम पथ्य फॉलो नहीं कर पा रहे तो बाहर तो हम क्या ही एक्सपेक्ट करेंगे लोगो से कि बाहर भी हम वो फॉलो कर पाए तो एक ये भी जरूरी है स्टूडेंट को पूछना की मतलब ये कोई भी एस बी भी प्रैक्टिशनर है या हम हस्ता लंबा में भी देखते हैं कि वायरल फीवर का कोई पेशेंट आ रहा है कोई स्टूडेंट को हमको ठीक करना है और हम उसको पथ्य के लिए बोल रहे हैं तो वो नहीं मिल रहा है उसके हॉस्टल में ही नहीं मिल रहा है इसका मतलब यह है कि इतनी इम्पोर्टेंस दी नहीं जा रही है पथ्य की और जब स्टूडेंट नहीं समझेंगे तो वो अपने फैमिली मेम्बर्स को अपने मतलब सोसाइटी में वो कैसे समझाएंगे तो ये मैम ये प्रॉब्लम भी एक एड्रेस करना जरूरी है और एक दूसरा ये कि अभी नया सिलेबस आया है तो सबको लग रहा है कि ये रे ऑफ होप है आयुर्वेद के लिए बट हम देखेंगे तो फिर से वही रविश सिंह इडियटिक सिंह वही रिपीट की जा रही है 
और मतलब मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि जो करिकुलम बना है उसके लिए कमिटीज बनती है तो जो कमिटी में जो मेंबर्स है तो उसका क्या प्रूफ है कि वो साइंटिफिक प्रैक्टिस न रहे क्योंकि हमने देखी है प्रैक्टिस जो भी प्रैक्टिस करते हैं इतने पेशेंट नहीं देखे और कुछ भी मतलब पूछते हम तो वो बोलते हैं कि ये हमने गुरु से सीखा है ये वो आप प्रैक्टिस में होगे तब आपको पता चलेगा तो जिसने सिलेबस बनाया है वो भी साइंटिफिक प्रैक्टिस में है कि नहीं उसकी कोई ट्रांसपेरेंसी नहीं है तो मैम ये भी एक बहुत बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है कि अगर ऐसे लोग हमारी हमारा सिलेबस बनाते जाएंगे तो कैसे आगे आयुर्वेद कैसे ठीक रहेगा मतलब करप्शन बढ़ता ही जाएगा इसमें और ये सबको मतलब इस क्वेश्चन को उठाना जरूरी लग रहा है तो संगीता या एग्जैक्टली अभिजीत एंड दिस वाज द कंसर्न ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग फैकल्टीज हमें चार फैकल्टीज से जो है कि फीडबैक्स मिले थे रोग निदान द्रव्य गुण कार्य चिकित्सा एंड क्रियाशारी रोग निदान में जैसे कि अगर फार्मेको फार्मेकोग्नोस्टिकल और फाइटोकेमिकल्स पढ़ाने को बोला जाता है जिस चीज के वो एक्सपर्ट भी नहीं है तो वो कैसे पढ़ाए बच्चों को और दूसरी चीज जो वो पढ़ाना चाहते हैं अप्लाइड एक्सपेक्ट पढ़ाना चाहते हैं द्रव्य गुण का उन्हें क्लिनिकल ओपीडीज नहीं मिलती है तो वो कैसे स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ाएं बाकी क्या रोग निधन की फैकल्टी में से क्वेश्चन आया है कि मतलब कोई न्यू डिसीज के लिए एक कोई डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन नहीं है कोई स्टैंडर्डाइज ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल नहीं है एक टीचर अलग पढ़ा रहा है कोई दूसरा टीचर अलग पढ़ा रहा है तो इधर मतलब बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग कंफ्यूजन आ रही है स्टूडेंट इधर एक अलग ट्रीटमेंट सीख रहा है उधर अलग ट्रीटमेंट सीख रहा है तो आफ्टर एंड ऑफ फाइनल ईयर वो बस जीरो नॉलेज के साथ बाहर आता है तो एक कोई स्टैंडर्डाइज वे डिसाइड किया जाए जैसे हम एस बी सेमिनार में भी देखते हैं कि कोई भी क्वीज है तो सब डॉक्टर से एक एक ही पैथोलॉजी पे और एक ही ट्रीटमेंट पे पहुंचते हैं तो अगर ऐसा पूरी कम्युनिटी में हो जाए तो इट विल बी बूस्ट फॉर आयुर्वेदा कम्युनिटी और दूसरा एक काय चिकित्सा के फैकल्टी ने क्वेश्चन पूछा है कि बच्चों को फाइनल ईयर में आते आते वो इतना ब्रेन करप्ट हो चुका होता है कि ट्रू शास्त्र समझाया ही नहीं जा सकता अगर उसको ओरिजिनल ट्रू आयुर्वेद समझाया जाए तो वो समझते ही नहीं है क्योंकि इतना ब्रेन वॉश किया जाता है पंचकर्म शल्य वो सब चीजों से विध कर्म अग्नि कर्म मतलब जो वही चीज आयुर्वेदा है वही समझने लगते हैं स्टूडेंट्स फाइनल ईयर में आते आते तो एक ये भी बड़ा कंसर्न है फिर क्रिया शारी के फैकल्टी ने भी एक क्वेश्चन पूछा है कि कोई प्रैक्टिकल यूटिलिटी नहीं समझाई जाती है मतलब जो भी दिखाया जाता है थियरीज में वो पेशेंट के ऊपर कोई समझा ही नहीं सकता अगर हम डॉक्टर को पूछ रहे हैं अगर हम हमारे टीचर्स को पूछ रहे हैं कि ये कौन से श्लोका से क्या रेफरेंस है और क्या आपने इस पे अप्लाई किया तो नहीं वो दिखा ही नहीं सकते मतलब और फिर उसके आगे बोलते हैं कि ये देख के आओ ये श्लोका देख के आओ और फाइनल आंसर नहीं मिलता है उसमें कोई भी और वाई का डर बताए जाते हैं और इसमें यह भी है कि अपने अपने तरीके से सार और नाड़ी परीक्षा है वो सब अपने अपने तरीके से इंटरप्रिट करते हैं और एक नाड़ी परीक्षा के ऊपर ही पूरा अपना प्रैक्टिस चलाते हैं और बोलते हैं कि यही आयुर्वेदा है तो मतलब सबका अपना अपना इंटरप्रिटेशन हो चुका है तो ये तो साइंस है साइंस में अपना इंटरप्रिटेशन नहीं होता जैसे कि मैथ्स में टू प्लस टू फोर ही होता है तुम अलग अलग तरीके से आप बताओगे कि इसका इंटरप्रिटेशन ये है हम हमारे हिसाब से कर सकते हैं नो इट इज नॉट साइंस सो मैम ये प्रॉब्लम भी इधर देखना चाहिए एग्जैक्टली exactly, अभिजीत uh, अगर अगर सारे लोग सही हैं तो वो चीजें साइंटिफिक कैसे हो सकती हैं uh, दूसरा जो कंसर्न डॉक्टर का था एक स्टूडेंट uh, ने ही मुझसे पूछा था uh, कि uh, हम जेनुनली अर्न वेल कैसे करें पैसे अच्छे से कैसे कमाएं जेनुनली तो ये एक क्वेश्चन था दूसरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि मेडिसिन अन अवेलेबिलिटी क्लासिकल uh, फॉर्मुलेशंस नहीं मिलते हैं मार्केट में और uh, जो कि पेशेंट्स uh, को उसके लिए सफर करना पड़ता है दूसरी जो मिक्सोपैथी देखने को मिल रही है कॉम्पिटिशन्स uh, में उनको uh, एक क्वेकरी देखने को मिल रही है जो कि एक टफ कॉम्पिटिशन देती है कि क्योंकि uh, जब पेशेंट आता है तो उसे उस डाइट का रिस्ट्रिक्शंस उस एक मिक्सोपैथी वाले डॉक्टर से नहीं मिला होता है जो एक एस प्रैक्टिशनर से मिलता है तो दे फेस अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टीज इन ऑर्डर टू कन्विंस दैट पेशेंट 
सो लाइक अगर आप जस्ट हम जैसे जो भी स्टूडेंट का कंसर्न है बाकी कंसर्न है इन अ क्वेश्चन फॉर्म वी विल आस्क यू इन लेटर बट अभी जो डॉक्टर के कंसर्न है अगर एक ब्रीफ बहुत ही शॉर्ट वे में अगर आप लोग बताना चाहें कि जो अन वेन वेल जेनुअनली डिफिकल्टीज इन कन्विंसिंग पेशेंट एंड मेडिसिन अन अवेलेबिलिटी और मिक्सोपैथी पे आपका क्या विचार है उसे कैसे ओवरकम किया जा सकता है हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल यस मैम ओके सो द क्वेश्चन कैन यू मेक इट पिन पॉइंटेड क्वेश्चन या जेनुअनली हाउ टू अर्न वेल हाउ टू अर्न वेल ये ओके ओके यस बाय बीइंग अ बीइंग एन ऑनेस्ट आयुर्वेद डॉक्टर और बीइंग एन एथिकल आयुर्वेद डॉक्टर हाउ टू अर्न वेल या दैट इज द क्वेश्चन यस मैम Or by present syllabus, how to earn well? No, 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 ma'am. Ah. No, no. Genuinely, genuinely. So genuinely, uh, earning means earning should happen by vritti by nisheveda. Yes, your dharma avi rodhina. Shama madhyanam jeva sugha eva nishevade. To attain pleasure in profession, let it be any profession. Acharya told one. Uh, uh, there are certain. things which are to be adopted in life to attain a successful career which are the things vritti ubaya when you are choosing a profession yes your dharma avirodhana it should not be contradictory to dharma whatever you are doing whichever profession you are in dharma should be there inside you should be doing it by dharma shamam adhyanam it should give you peace of mind what you were dis- uh, discussing before we understand that there is no peace of mind to ayurveda doctors ayurveda students ayurveda faculty some or other reason they are not happy that is the basic thing many are happy but not they don't recognize that genuinely they are not happy but that should not be happening they should be happy from within shamam peace of mind adhyayana most important the profession which enables you to learn throughout life this is what determine the career success of career so to become earning becomes only one aspect of successful career though definitely i agree that it is a main aspect so when you are adopting the rest of the things you are adopting first and foremost to become a professional you should have quality in your performance any profession you are not an like let it be arts profession or science profession whatever you are doing it should be of quality it should be coming to a professional means you, society is expecting some quality from you they are in need of you badly in need of you for some or other reasons to solve their problems society wants you to solve their problems so in order to improve the quality of performance what we should do we should be definitely Definitely having good knowledge, adhyana, adhyana, adhyabana, learning, discussing, all these are different methods. Debating, all these are different methods to develop critical reasoning. So learning means when we are learning something in school, learning is enough. But when we are learning something in a profession, you should be learning to understand. you should be learning to do critical reasoning critical reasoning is an important aspect of learning you should be able to understand it from the very root level for that you should be contradicting yourself whatever you are supposed to believe in ayurveda today the main problems are tradition oriented practice convention oriented practice tradition means forefathers what they are doing we will also do that don't question anything this is followed convention oriented means what everybody is doing this here then what is your problem who are you to contradict everybody is doing this in psoriasis takradhara is done why you are telling takradhara not needed everybody doing no because everybody is doing it is correct that is a highly misled notion so that is what i meant by convention oriented tradition oriented 
then most dangerous eminence based medicine guru you told this legend told that legend told so it should be correct so we don't know how legends are standardized just like what uh, dr abhijit told we are never attempting to standardize the practice or to estimate the practice of legends ever whatever legends do we don't know what legends mean even when others call us legends or you legends naturally we are upgraded to legend status so what legends tell we are adopting blindly so these are the main reasons why we are not prospering in profession and prosperity can be attained number 1 by acquiring deep seated knowledge and knowledge doesn't have a limit so we have to start scientific learning scientific training scientific thinking scientific analysis and scientific conclusions so ask argue clarify confirm and practice this is what is required in to become a successful professional and once you start doing that naturally dharma sets in we know that once we start adopting scientific learning and scientific training scientific practice we cannot cheat people we cannot do injustice to science we cannot do injustice in profession naturally it is a natural instinct to be just and honest once we are doing correctly we are learning we are working hard we are trying to understand things we are there is no end for perfection but there is always a beginning for perfection you know there is always a beginning for perfection end is not there but when we are going in a wrong way there is no chance of even beginning with perfection so that is what is required then what will happen naturally more and more people will start knowing the quality of what we are doing not our name and our brand or our company or our background tradition or our guru they are not remembering our guru or tradition or business they are remembering what they are remembering what you have done to them and that counts most so professional satisfaction sits in when you are able to heal a patient by doing the right thing and when you are doing some benefit risk oriented trial and error calculations both are entirely different those who are in sbba being both of you in sbba you know what i am telling about so this will make professionalism professional culture and ethics also inside you patients will start demanding you what you are doing i wish other doctors also have done this they will tell i wish there are doctors in my locality who will do like you with one medicine minimum medicine scientific diet healing fast i wish you were there in my locality i wish you were there in us you were there in uh, wherever italy or germany people wish like that naturally social demand will increase and that will be a pressure on government government people will demand more and more for quality practice so government will start attending scientific what is this what how it is differing from other conventional practices so eventually what happens is we can become successful prosperous intellectually and financially prosperous and ethically prosperous in our life and career so this is what is most important learning before earning and culturing our intelligence by shastra artha karma nishilana this is the only way for real prosperity that's all you wanted to know how much money you wanted to earn whoever it is he or she so finally <laughs> everything is for karmartha kama so hmm. it's for sukha so, sukhartha sarva bhudanam mata sarva pravarte all activities are for sukha finally but when we start from the point of earning money there is no limit you will not get any sort of satisfaction because you wanted to earn more so acharya has told that tasma dharma paro bhave sukham cha na vina dharma you will never get sukha without dharma tasma dharma paro bhave the easiest way is learn what your exact duties exact duty of a shikshak is 
learn the science properly understand its shastrarthas try to understand in the patient properly and samyak prayogam sarvesham siddhi rakhyadi when siddhi you get siddhi means intended effect or intended objective of reversal of disease and instrument of health that is the uh, most important thing and that is the wealth which you can earn in your life so you can be prosperous you can be wealthy in your mind thank you sir uh, my next question is medicine unavailability in very short i need answer so because we have very uh, so many other questions also and i can't see ma'am so i can't see her expressions also medicine unavailability it's very you easy you are not audible ma'am am i audible yeah yeah sir you are audible yeah medicine unavailability we can um, easily solve that reduce the use of unnecessary medication so once you reduce that there will be easy availability of all medicines you don't don't need hundreds of medicines to for practice you need only 10 to 12 medicines or 10 to maximum 20 medicines you can say so with those medicines there will not be any scarcity or anything like that and if we are giving in the right dose only very minute dose is needed and it's for a very short period so that question doesn't arise also when we are doing business with medicines then there will be unavailability unavailability and scarcity of medicine yeah i have so nothing additional sangeeta that much okay, okay. ma'am yeah so mixopathy and difficulties in convincing patient mixopathy and difficulty in convincing difficulty in convincing what uh, like uh, when when other practitioners are doing mixopathy they are not uh, giving diet and all but when a uh, scientific practitioner is giving diet they are they are facing difficulties to convince patient that uh, you have to follow this diet and that 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 okay, okay. the only way is to g- create awareness among people ask one question whether you want to heal your disease or whether you want to do something and uh, uh, sustain your life with medicines and uh, throughout your life ris- risky medicines and uh, what you call uncertainty led combinations and its impact throughout life they it leave it to their decisions what they want it is hmm. their priority if you want to heal you can heal sometimes with this method very small method short method short duration small number of medicines and scientific diet but otherwise it's up to you so when patient is getting convinced only treat otherwise leave it to their fate there is no other way people will come back to you if you are honest with them they will come back to you if they are in suffering that is the only thing needed we don't need to please the patients our duty is not to please the patients our duty is to heal them and for healing them we have to be honest with them because our science is not adjustment modern adjustment okay. drug therapy mad therapy our science is not adjustment our science is reversal of disease only for that we are our science is documented so there is no question of madness for us we have to be straight and honest that's all so okay now uh, this was all the concern and now we will go to the yeah you would like to add anything sir so uh, the we'll question part the question. yeah uh, yeah yeah so the students uh, from student side the questions which has came out abhijit would you like to start yeah yeah since abhi ansul ne bataya ki after completing uh, i am asking all the viewers after completing bms of 5 5 years why there is need of attending seminars of understanding basic topics matlab agar humko ye after 5 years bhi humko attend kar, karna pad raha hai seminars and bahut bahut guru ke paas jana pad raha hai matlab ye proven hai ki kuch problem hai quality education mein okay to madam mera first question ye hai how can we become scientific practitioner through our current bms curriculum 
and his new curriculum is ray of hope so because uh, yeah. because in new curriculum uh, network pharmacology and so many things has been added so is it a ray of hope so my question back to you abhijit is whether you can become a good swimmer on the floor without going to the pond if you are kept on the floor can you swim and become a very good swimmer in a deep ocean when you are put afterwards learning to swim in on the floor and then uh, leaving you in ocean what will be the condition will you be that be able to survive no so this is what is happening we are learning something which is of no use to us at the same time which is extremely needed for us what we are crucially intended to learn is not being learning it's not being learned so this is one major thing we are suffering from we are suffering from ignorance we are suffering from darkness only solution is improvising not improvising i will say rebuilding the curriculum of ayurveda doctors bms in accordance to the principles of practice of science based medicine of ayurveda because we cannot do justice to our patients in a different way and uh, anshul was asking what is the need of cmes and seminars definitely cmes and seminars are meant to culture the intelligence what is acquired in bams what is acquired in bams to refine our intelligence to improve the quality of performance cmes are mandatory that will enable us to learn deeply but when we have not learned anything zero or negative in bams where is the question of continuing medical education continued medical education means medical education should be there prior to so we should be ready to look inward and make appropriate amendment without wasting time it is already high time whatever amendments have been made now is very dangerous concerned with dravya guna i can say it is very dangerous because whatever is needed in cl clinical aspect is not being taught eka dravya pari eka dravya pariksha one topic is there i don't know eka dravya pariksha single drug it is what tribals tribal practitioners are doing they are giving one medicine for asthma one medicine for jaundice one herb herb for skin disease one patient came to me with uh, fulminant hepatitis and liver failure she was on one medicine from a tribal vaidya for 6 months 25000 rupees per month cost that, that herb that was she, she was taking that only is it what is required to be done in ayurveda the single herb therapy i don't understand what it means during our bams also it was there eka dravya pariksha i don't understand one herb and treating diseases very that means it is going to a dangerous level and many things what sangeeta told now i'm not going into the details the detailed aspects of pharmacognosy and phytochemistry we need experts to teach them also if the curriculum makers are very sure that these things are to be taught in bams second year students for certain reason to improve their knowledge in pharmacognosy and phytochemistry definitely we need experts to teach them we have not learned phytochemistry and pharmacognosy in bams or md whatever is mentioned in the syllabus we have not learned to become to enable ourselves to be called as an expert i am very honest i cannot call myself as an expert in teaching all these things i cannot do justice to my students i don't want to do injustice to my students so this is this is a very serious aspect i my sincere request to curriculum makers kindly rethink about the present curriculum of dravya guna it is very very dangerous and it is of no use to the students i am honestly telling it is of no use to the students students are not meant to learn all these things they are meant to learn the finest aspects of siddhandas and sutras of dravya guna jnana in patients so we need a clinical opd to teach them the siddhandas theorems and sutras of dravya guna vidyana please make appropriate amendment that's all actually uh, it's not the curriculum that is to be revised we need to understand what exactly the ayurvedic science is 
shastra shastrarthas are lacking today so if you increase the power of the specs also you won't be able to see because we lack shastra and shastrartha so even changing or updating the syllabus to the most modern also you won't be able to understand anything because you don't know to read right you don't know to understand how to learn to understand is lacking shastra and shastrartha is lacking shastra we are learning just as sanskrit verses that a literature person also can learn that is not a big thing but understanding in the present era what exactly it is artha vid that is the most important thing which is lacking that is tirtha artha shastra artho that shastra artha knowledge is lacking so whatever you do in the syllabus you cannot make it successful that's what i want to say <laughs> sir how to to explain it to them and community then how to we need to understand how to explain these two community matlab ye jo sir ne bola wo hum syllabus mein kar ya authority ko kaise samjha sakte hain how can we explain this we can give so the only way is that authority should be ready to conduct a symposium an open symposium calling upon all the people who are having all the experts of concerned subject who are having definite opinions or definite proposals not mere opinions proposals on revision of curriculum they should be receptive to the entire faculties who want to give proposals who want to discuss their ideas who want to demonstrate their ideas there should be two days or three days symposium in the national level for all subjects they cannot implement one thing and ask everyone to teach that it's like we are in a democratic country one day we are getting a quiet strange curriculum which has no way connection to what we were doing till now and asking to teach that means it is slavery no we are not in such a country where slavery is encouraged we are in a democratic country there should be open discussions there should be receptivity there should be debates there should be clarification there should be demonstration every person every expert has equal right to equal uh, opportunity to speak to speak up for that they should be provided a platform at least they should have called upon written proposals first and from that they should have selected i in my opinion they cannot discard anything anything irrelevant went only they should be discarding we cannot say what is relevant and irrelevant without direct meeting and discussion so all the proposals are to be considered from experts i mean concerned uh, expert faculties who are teaching the subject and there should be intense discussion it's not like one, one fine morning this is your new syllabus i am making so many i am giving so many proposals to ministry of ayush also i am a person who is continuously giving proposals in uh, for the revision of curriculum nothing is uh, taken up till date but instead of that i am asked to do uh, teaching of these things means what will i feel i am not a quack no i am also an expert in ayurveda i am also an expert in dravidguna i have my own rights no so abhijit you are correct only in that aspect there should be symposiums discussions it's not a one day program it is three days or one week program for each subject there should be conclusions conclusion should be there why this is needed why not this is not needed why not this is needed so everything there should be arguments and conclusions with reasoning so that juniors and students when they ask questions we seniors will have answers to them otherwise we don't have answers when my student asks me ma'am why do we need to check specific gravity of guruguna or guruguna dravya or lagu dravya i don't have answer because it is wrong guru lagu sida ushna etc are gunas which are to be meant in human body not in dravya physical characteristics we know that solid things are ha having parthiva gunas there is no need to conduct such studies to understand that apya dravyas have apya qualities parthiva dravyas have parthiva qualities is it not it is just common sense 
physical appearance when we touch organoleptic evaluation so when a student asks me why ma'am why we are doing why we are supposed to do phytochemical study i don't have answer there is no need of phytochemical study in ayurvedic science so there should be discussions then only we become answerable to our students and juniors that's all thank you ma'am so our curriculum should be bhishak oriented uh... exactly exactly i yeah. so i second that bhishak oriented curriculum yes ma'am so my next question is uh, 15 days of induction program uh, in first year of uh, bms they are doing induction programs uh, so like according to you what is really needed to be taught under scope and uniqueness of ayurveda because they are also teaching uh, some scope and uh, scope and uniqueness of ayurveda but what actually is uh, teach uh, has to be teach under this bishop oriented curriculum is to be initiated from first year students who are approaching ayurveda college in the first early days itself induction program i think it is currently done in like um, getting yourself acquainted with the campus getting yourself acquainted with the facilities etc but instead of that there should be lectures to specifically introduce the subject to students why you are learning i mean what is the relevance of ayurveda as a medical science because i am sure majority of students are taking up bams not to become pharmacognosy experts or yoga experts or naturopathy experts they want to become doctors that's why they are coming i don't mean to say that naturopathy is not medicine don't divert my things there are many viewers who are waiting to divert what i am speaking about i don't mean that they are joining bams to become ayurveda doctors so they should get some motivation not only motivation they should get some information valid information which will motivate them which will enable them to understand the basic fundamental nature qualities approach attitude and success of ayurveda so it is not like by lecture alone there should be motivational things happening in the opd ipd there should be motivational seminars going around there should be uh, discussions from seniors like in this college actually this case was treated we have seen such results we have seen uh, patients getting viral fevers and all resolving very fast we have treated this many covid cases we have treated even uh, very hard multiple cases and we have reversed we have seen cases reverse getting reversed in opd and ipd naturally students will be encouraged to study right that is one thing then regarding how and why ayurveda is not philosophy ayurveda is not history not epic how and why ayurveda is a science what is the difference of science of ayurveda from other sciences all these things they are to be motivated by accurate scientific information it's not like simply talking something you should take accountability for what you are speaking also many people have no license for their tongue they will speak so much without any sense that should not happen when we are addressing newcomers we should be responsible 100 times more responsible than uh, doctors because whatever we are creating in their minds we are sowing in their minds that is the that is the beginning of their intellectual journey so it is really important that induction program should be of high quality they should be not only taught they should be demonstrated they should be shown such cases in my opinion they should be taken to ward they should be taken to opd and show such cases how much this patient was suffering and even they should be allowed to take interviews with patients who are willing to speak to them so that they will get motivated they will understand that they are learning a medical subject they will be eager to learn better and evolve so this is what is required in induction there is no use of encouraging chanting so many ashtanga they are chanting it is all good but the thing is that it's all well and good 
even shloka padan class after starting after induction program we can start shloka padan class what is the use of shloka parayana in induction program they should understand that they are not to become pandit jis they have to become scientists and doctors so shastra arthas are to be conveyed to them tridosha theory in my opinion people who are contradicting ayurveda who are ridiculing ayurveda what they are speaking that should be presented and how it is wrong we have to explain to them like liver doctor what he is doing now what kind of nonsense he is speaking about ayurveda contradictory things they those talks are to be they should be made to listen to those talks and we should be contradicting how and why they are wrong that is how motivation is to happen yeah so in induction classes it can be made as inspirational classes and they will get acquaintance also plus we need to clarify their doubts that is the most important thing whatever they are having in their minds they should ask and people who are ready to clarify those things or clear their doubts should be taking this those inspirational classes not like uh, ayurveda is like this it's a, an ancient science and not that such blah blah is not enough for a student to get inspired so a student should be inspired and made in the right track that is what uh, is needed the first 15 days or one month so once they are on that track they will never deviate from that and no question of uh, anathical practice or pseudo science practice or they will not, never get that also they should be encouraged to debate just like what he said they should be encouraged to oppose contradict whatever uh, doubts and contradictions they are getting they should be challenging faculties like they can ask questions such a culture should be started in induction program thank you ma'am and sir next question abhi ji instead of this they are making world record of ashtang sangra reading longest class of ashtang sangra so that's what pandit ji is to make pandit ji who cannot treat their their own diseases it's unfortunate yeah. we have to change so we are trying to make a change so ma'am my next question is when we study samhita know how and show how is completely out of the picture there is no clinical knowledge skills neither uniform rational standards based on objective standards also there is no practical demonstration merely demonstrating how to become technician and there is no early clinical exposure what is your view on this so whatever you are learning in samhidas they are the substratum of your clinical practice because ayurveda is science based medicine shastra artha karma sar advised in ayurveda and also shastra sahita tarko sadhana nam reasoning based on science is considered as the most valid tool of ayurvedic science considered as most valid tool of decision making in ayurveda so the thing is that rational standards know how is and show how both are simultaneously needed whatever the students are learning in samhidas they should understand that they are not stories we should be teaching them the applied aspects shastra arthas what are the real intentions of these shlokas why these shlokas are important in a patient we have to explain with the context of a patient when i am teaching gunas to my dravaguna students i teach them in a clinical scenario even though i am not having an opd i will be explaining a patient whom i have treated at my home clinic and explaining to them to make them understand about the gunas so this is what everything should be done practically and they should be encouraged to do the application level in their own body first in their own body they should be able to they should be encouraged to practice the basic principles in their own body in health and disease then only we can implement these things shastra arthas for that first of all as you told correctly rational standards are a big problem 
there are no inbuilt rational standards adopted the same shloka is interpreted in 30 different ways by 50 uh, i mean 15 experts 15 experts will be interpreting in 30 different ways like that things are going so that is very dangerous we should be able to explain standardized first of all what is needed in ayurveda is not standardization of treatment but standardization of basic principles standardized knowledge of basic principles of ayurveda not terminologies or anything there is no use of translating terminologies or something like that we must know how how they are important what does it mean how they are to apply in a current situation for that current diseases also pathologies there is such a lot to do in ayurveda first of all before framing policies we should emerge rational standards in ayurveda to understand and apply which is done in sbba as you know it is done it is started in sbba for the past 10 years it is happening so these rational standards are the framework of applied medicine of ayurveda structural framework so you know when these rational standards are taught how we can know that they are not opinions but rather rational standards it is very simple when i am learning the principles you are also learning the principles when a patient comes we are able to we are not communicating each other regarding the patient but we are understanding the our own patients in a uniform manner and applying the yukti jnana yukti jnana means shastra sahita tarka it is not imagination yukti is shastra sahita tarka based on science we are analyzing appraising and we are concludes, uh, concluding that this principle is to be applied here for diagnosis and treatment so that is to be standardized then we can we will find come to know that we both have done in the same way same logics medicines can vary but same logic minimum medicine equal period to reverse the condition so transparency is there reproducibility is there two signs of scientificity first is transparency you are able to explain how why what where when how much what will happen predictability you you will be able to explain what will happen in the coming hours by your treatment then repeatability other faculties or doctors can also learn the logics of the science and apply in a uniform manner in identical conditions then only clinical audit will be possible so this is the first thing which is to be accomplished before speaking about rational education there should be rational standards for education that is my point students sir my audible students are coming after plus 1 plus 2 so they are learning biology physics chemistry so first students are to be taught shastra arthas for that there should be standardized shastra artha knowledge that has to be first uh, uh, done, it has to be taught which is specified in sbba so once shastra arthas are taught and then afterwards when slokas are taught they will be easily grasping because they won't feel it as an alien science or something which they never had uh, got acquainted so the easiest and the most apt method is first piece the shastra arthas it should be standardized and based on shastra arthas if you teach slokas they will easily understand and they can learn the slokas also easily so subjective bias can be avoided Objective standards are available. Subjective bias will not happen. This legend, that legend, tradition, convention, everything will be deleted. There is only science and science-led standards. So objective standards and standardization possible. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> My next question mm -hmm. is uh, newly emerging diseases. Uh, topics and disease currently relevant in India is not taught according to Ayurveda, like how to diagnose and reverse. So, uh, 
what would you like to add for this same because uh, like uh, yeah ma'am the yeah, same answer first you that complete you like the question learning shastrarthas with modern things like uh, you should be learning pranavayu as uh, what you have learned in the biology or in the physiology anatomy subjects so when you are understanding it as um, a dravya not as a concept or not as a fictitious character kapha bitta and vada are not fictitious characters so when you understand like that everything will be clear so you will be able to understand the pathology of a disease whether a new disease or old disease or um, complications or whatever it is you will be able to understand in the patient what is happening means uh, instead of explaining with uh, this uh, neurological or metabolic or immunological things factors we can easily understand in ayurvedic sense itself so it is not correlation of something with something it is understanding of what is happening exactly what is happening and understanding in the uh, exact shastrartha that is what is really need, needed if that is not there uh, whatever new disease you are teaching or including in the curriculum it is of no use which is lacking is shastrartha so, so true sir actual yes ma'am patient oriented training should be given not disease oriented patient oriented clinical training poct patient oriented clinical training not disease oriented clinical training nowadays what happens when the patient will tell that i am having this disease immediately the students or faculties will start prescribing one full page medicines and treatments so there is no patient oriented uh, comprehension or what do you call it, uh, analysis or appraisal done so it has to be converted to such a kind of training for that we need basement of knowledge knowledge is required to know how to do that merely if we discuss it will not happen so they should be ready to receive new inputs which are being proposed by people then only it is possible we need yeah. functional can... medicine oriented curriculum functional medicine ayurveda is functional medicine so curriculum should be oriented on functional medicine exactly ma'am like uh, uh, now we can see that uh, the uh, newly emerging diseases many uh, like practitioners are like telling uh, this is this this is that we have seen uh, all those things in from corona time It's, yeah so uh, that's why we you gave us such a small and uh, precise answer i would say that uh, if uh, teaching will be on shastra arthas student will understand the shastra uh, curriculum will become mm-hmm. like bishak oriented and automatically they will not need anyone to explain what is this what is that they will they themselves will understand what is this all new diseases emerging and they will uh can easily reverse all those disease conditions also <clears throat> and the patients will start rushing to ayurveda colleges not for free yeah. medicine nowadays they are yeah. coming for free medicine to dispensaries and colleges but they will ca- the real patients will rush to ayurveda colleges for treatment and they will start getting well very fast getting normal very fast and eventually india will become economic financial prosperity will be attained for india and neighboring countries will also start acknowledging and they will be interested to learn ayurveda by authentic manner authentic professional means so this is the only way for prosperity yes ma'am thank you uh, ma'am and sir next question abhijit our next question is should there be any elective subject if yes then why elective, elective subjects elective. actually yeah. in engineering and all i have seen my son also took music oh. there are many elective yeah. subjects for them so in ayurveda if elective subjects are kept i think padartha vijnana can be an elective subject because those who are interested to do research in philosophy philosophical background of ayurveda they can choose that elective subject as 
ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಸಚ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಹಿಸ್ಟೋರಿಕಲ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಇನ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಸರಿ ಬಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡೇಟರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕರಿಕುಲಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕೆಪ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ that will be good i think it's my personal right opinion. yoga naturopathy and all yeah it doesn't belong to ayurveda but still if anybody is interested to any ayurveda doctor is i mean if anybody who wants to become ayurveda doctor is extra interested in yoga they can choose their elective subject yoga that is the advantage even though yoga has no connection with ayurveda and music also that also improves your brain capacity ha <clears throat> thank you ma'am and sir uh, my next question is healthy interaction between students and faculties is missing so what is the solution for that like uh, we see that uh, like uh, if we are debating with them uh, they are not maintaining uh, that healthy debate also so and healthy interaction between faculties are missing uh, so what would you like to add on this irrespective of the background of ethics culture values individual variations can happen between faculties right my background of ethics my id personal identity my values ethics discipline culture everything may not be as same as another persons because they are every person is born and brought up in a different background but ultimately when we are become professional professionals we should have a common uniform professional culture that is very important when we are joining college as a faculty or a researcher or a doctor we should have a uniform culture uniform ethics uniform morality uniform objectives to make our institution number one to make our students the best and we should raise when we are teaching students we are raising their ethics also we are raising their morality also indirectly when we ask them to work hard when we teach them that always hard work only matters they will not go for other methods they will not go for uh, we are if we are not encouraging them to do unfair means in examination definitely they will be studying hard they will need to study hard and uh, get pass out by fair means so this is the healthy way of bonding between faculties and students we have to be honest with students we should not be trying to please students in the same way as pleasing patients we should be telling truth to students and we should be taking responsibility to work hard by ourselves because we are faculties means being faculties or whoever even doctor means he is supposed to be the one who teaches society or students or whoever it be there is a recipient side so we have to be honest in our thoughts words deeds and everything so for that we should be culturing our intelligence and we should stay ourselves as examples to our students to our juniors they if they are able to understand our true intentions definitely the institution will be blessed because ethical standards intellectual standards so bonding between faculty and student is not like a bonding between school teacher and a child in school age teachers are to take care of children just like their own children because it's a very young sensitive mature age but you are when you are in 20s we are li- handling professional students even after 17 they are supposed to attain some maturity in their life and learning process so if we are pampering them we are uh, like we are spoon feeding them we are encouraging unfair means to them to get pass we are doing grave injustice to them we are arresting their progress in life and career maybe temporarily they will feel so happy about us if we are doing such means they will be great they will show gratefulness to us but it it is not fair in long run they will understand that 
this is not fair what i have done now i am a big zero even if i am placed in a very big institution when they see a patient or when they see their own mother or grandmother they will not be confident to treat them then they think of that what their position is so real bonding happens between faculty and students when both the sides are in a professional manner that faculties are to take initiative in making a healthy professional bonding with students debate is part of teaching itself so it's not student that is important what the matter is being discussed or debated is more important so uh, acharyas have told that sadata adhyayanam vadaha paratantra avalokana vada is a method to improve tadvidya acharya sevacha utthi metha garugana which improves your brain capacity as well as your wisdom intelligence so students should learn and us or go for debate with teachers so if teacher is not able to understand or teacher is not able to answer them that means he is and if he is not trying to answer it and making the student uh, feel inferior or something like that or if he is scolding him that is wrong method of teaching so he is not a teacher he is teaching so that is the uh, that is what we need to understand every teacher should be ready to debate because it is part of teaching sadada adhyayanam vadaha paratantra avlogana it is said by acharyas only it is not said by me or uh, those who are debating uh, people have made this it's not like that it's in the shastra itself so debating is a very important point that is part of curriculum or part of teaching in clinical training also this applies they should be ready to explain things to the students they should be ready failure can happen but they should be ready to explain why this case failed not responded to this treatment what is to be done why everything that's important thank you ma'am and sir next question abhijit yeah our next question is many brand ambassadors and influencer of ayurveda available in society but how to become genuine brand ambassadors of ayurveda how to become genuine brand ambassador of ayurveda genuine, genuine brand ambassador uh, because there is Actually, lots of brand ambassador of so called legends how to become a genuine brand ambassador of ayurveda yeah. when you become a bishak you naturally become a genuine brand ambassador of ayurveda you don't need to do extra but you should have some communication skills for that apart from knowledge communication skills are also equally important there should be some that also is to be given training is to be given in ayurveda colleges in effective communication skills how to Uh, communicate the science not movie or literature how to effectively communicate science for that debates and uh, speeches etc are to be initiated these all are valuable only when science is there and science is not, not there any debate or discussion or talk is of no use we are cheating only so first of all orientation in science based medicine is required and effective communication skill promotion by adequate training programs etc required they should be encouraged to write blogs nowadays blogs are there so they should be encouraged to students can be encouraged to write articles and blogs like regarding their even after induction program what they feel even they can videos can be recorded in the colleges how they are feeling after induction program what made them motivated to learn ayurveda even final year students also internees also why they are staying motivated are you motivated in ayurveda can be questions like that can be asked that all can be made as a that also will be a resource basement for other people to understand what is ayurveda how much effective it is how much scientific it is so for that first of all quality should be 
emerging in ayurveda colleges then only such things will be valuable otherwise it will be only drama only theatrical only not logical we can act ayurveda is great ayurveda is a part of our tradition culture heritage such dialogues can be rendered but in fact ayurveda is a science that will never come out all the sbbns are change agents so all the change agents are brand ambassadors tat parivartanam bhava yes sir exactly uh you both have ma uh, made us uh, all of all the sbba th uh, uh, i would say members a leader only so we all are a change agents and uh, that's why we all are here collectively we all are here so that's what was all the questions from student side uh, from like one last question i would like to uh, ask with uh, like <clears throat> you both of you like how did you get motivated uh, uh, to serve uh, to ayurveda uh, what problem you faced in your bms and md and uh, what is uh, what would you like to uh, uh, give some uh, like uh, suggestion or word to bms students i got motivated in bms only after bms uh, after my marriage i marriage was a turning point till then i was a die hard fan of uh, modern medicine and i used to take tablets frequently for my allergies everything like i didn't find any motivation in my college frankly i am not showing disrespect to anyone do not divert my uh, opinions i'm just telling uh, plain truth that i never got any motivation in college in my own college and after bms after bms when i got married to a person who is very much uh, a real aspirant of ayurveda i would say my uh, my ambition was to become a doctor from a very small age i don't know how and why i didn't have anything else in my mind i wanted to become a doctor only who is capable to heal i used to heal my dolls all my dolls my only job was healing my dolls every day so i don't know what happened what what had driven me to this but after B, during bms it was entire darkness there was no motivation and i thought i will somehow run my life like this maybe my fate but after bms i got to know that there are many things which are quite unknown to me like uh, and the main thing which motivated me is no doubt uh, my husband's guru Uh, Vaidhya Bhushan Raghavan Tendulkar sir's publications. I used to read in the AMS. I would say very gratefully that the only source of inspiration to me during the AMS was learning those books, reading those books. Even though I'm not able to grasp it completely, I was. I don't know what made me driven to that reading that Ashtanga, Sangraha, all the commentaries I bought, and I was. I used to read them. I spent most of the time in the library reading them. and but unfortunately i didn't go there at least once even though he was in a very close distance from my college i never cared to go there even though my friends were going there i thought there will be so much of theory only there is nothing to learn like that but afterwards after my marriage i started working with my husband more in science with the blessings of guru and with the motivation my husband is giving me eternally i was able to grasp things when i started applying that in my life in my body in my children without any modern medicine with the grace of god and abundant blessings of god elders and uh, of course it was like a, what you call destiny i was able to understand it was an eye opening realization to me that things are entirely different ayurveda is like this and during md when i joined md immediately after marriage uh, i came to understand that there are many things which deserves challenging during md there will be departmental seminars i used to challenge i used to ask questions to my colleagues many questions which others fear to ask i used to ask questions to my guide my guide wanted me to do animal study 
I had to fight with him so hard to make him convinced that I needed really to do clinical study. So I succeeded in doing th getting things done by asking questions, challenging them, and definitely I got many enemies also eventually in my PG. And but there were few teachers who were understanding me properly, and I'm grateful to them. In during my PG, I did my PG in Government Ayurveda College, Trivandrum. I got some faculty. Faculties, very rare faculties who used to bless me for what I am doing and eventually research oriented thinking, scientific thinking also was got cultured. We used to have debates, me and my husband used to have debates most of the time in our house. There were debates in Ayurveda uh, and we started discussing, why, once we start adopting in our lives, our own children's lives, our children were our specimens. My, our elder child taught us so many things in applied aspects. So that that eventually emerged confidence. And we started, we came to know that there is a very big difference, unimaginably huge difference between what is intended to be done and what is not happening currently around. So we got very much disturbed. So we decided to publish. Without publishing what we have concluded, not concluded, what we have confirmed so far, there is no use of telling to each other. Only we both are talking to each other. At least our some uh, it should be extended to the rest of the community. So we got published. We published our first uh, book was published in 2012, Evidence Based Ayurveda and Rational Prescribing. Followed by that, other publications emerged. And by the grace of God, Bharat Mission Bishop training programs got initiated. So every day, every time we, we were debating, we were doing in our patients. Many people tell that we are theoreticians. We are not doing practice. It's not correct. We are doing simultaneous practice. We are applying what we understood in our patients. And we are thankful to them also because we are able to do translational medicine in them. And we are able to evolve, evolve by this. We believe that this is what research is. Research is not publishing in peer review journal. Research is culturing intelligence in Ayurveda by doing, learning, doing, and learning. Like that, we have to evolve. And definitely, there should be rational standards emerged by the research, which are emerging, which we are publishing in our publications. That's all, Sangeeta. I hope I didn't take much time. Sir, your motivation to serve Ayurveda. <clears throat> you cannot copy one's inspiration as yours isn't it so mine is entirely different hers is entirely different i had base of sanskrit so it was easy for me to learn slokas so just to get pass marks or just to get good marks i used to learn slokas my seniors used to uh, note down which all slokas are important so i have been learning all those without knowing anything and finally uh, after final year in internship I was made to sit alone in the OPDs when some faculties are absent I used to sit alone and I used to think and um, multiple morbidities in a patient I will be correlating everything and deciding one medicine at that time so I will be giving one kashaya only there is a rule that three kashayams are to be mixed because uh, otherwise other kashayams will not be uh, dispensed. So that rule was there. Then also I used to prescribe one medicine for patients. That time I was not that was uh, uh, I was not having that, that much uh, confidence in treating patients. Then also I used to give one medicine and by, by Rakhavanthi Mumparsal's books I used to get inspired. And when I joined after BAMS, when I joined in Nagarjuna uh, as research officer, uh, quality controller, when I joined, I got the opportunity to visit Rakhwanti Rumparsar's home. And from there, I used to ask so many questions to him. But uh, he didn't give the answer, but he asked me to read something or he tried to make me understand that Ayurveda is not like this. Uh, the Shastra Mata 
മാത്ര ശരണവും എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അനാലോചിത ആഗമ ബുദ്ധിമത ഉദാഹരണ മാത്രമേ സച്ച് അഡ്വൈസസ് യൂസ് ടു ഗീവ് ഫ്രം ദയർ ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് തിങ്കിങ് ആൻഡ് ബൈ ഗോഡ്സ് ഗ്ലേസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ മൈ മ്യൂസിക് ടീച്ചർ ഐ ലേൺ ലൂഡ് ഫ്രം മൈ ഗ്രാൻഡ് ഫാദർ ആൻഡ് ഐ യൂസ് ടു ഗോ ടു അനദർ വയലിൻ മാസ്റ്ററോ ബി ശശികുമാർ സർ സോ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ഹി ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് മീ ടു ഇംപ്രൂവൈസ് ഇൻ മ്യൂസിക് he taught me to improve in conversation also when we converse he used to improvise and he was um, humorous and he will be uh, always joyous and he will be uh, making fun of in a um, as a student as a friend he will be behaving and he started making me think in a different way so that also has uh, motivated me or gave me inspiration in uh, and above all its thoughts and messages only what we have deciphered in sbv so it is not uh, a uh, track on which we have started working and we have learned so many things and finally we deciphered some new thing in science it's not like that it's thoughts uh, decision that i have to be in this path and i uh, reach jakaman gurun pat sir and his advices made me all this uh, decipher uh, what this spb discoveries decipher are because of god's grace it was so wonderful to hear uh, dr actually those worms <laughs> uh, uh, we are glad at that uh, from episode 1 we have started our journey uh, the, on this topic how to learn to understand ayurveda i guess with this, this motivation which you have given uh, how you get motivated and uh, how like we get motivated by you both so and you get motivated with uh, uh, your teachers so <clears throat> from march we have started uh so that uh, like we were very small when we started like we were like one two members uh, in the group and we started to grow like uh, our student uh, community started to grow when we start from march like um, uh dur- like uh, uh, during this all how to learn to understand ayurveda humne jo bhi curriculum mein galat cheeze hain humne keval un cheezon ko point out hi nahi kiya humne unke solutions aapne unke solutions bhi bataye humne agar us cheez ko point out kiya to aapne uske solutions bhi bataye even aapne un cheezon ko bataya ki ye cheeze bhi point out karne jaisi hai jab bhi hum like wo curriculum jab hum wapas se ab wapas se maine first year se leke final year ke sare curriculum padhe jab bhi main questions hum log banate the main naye ko host ke sath questions banati thi to pata chalta tha ki ye to acha ye galat hai ye to mujhe pata hi nahi tha so uh, like we got to know that sbbi is the only solution because uh, um, chahe wo earning ho ya self satisfaction ho या एक uh, मतलब आई uh, गेस मुझे लगता है कि द जर्नी लाइक वो सुख वाली जर्नी कैन ओनली बी रीच्ड बाय लाइक गेटिंग नॉलेज द रियल नॉलेज एंड एस बी बी इज द ओनली वे फ्रॉम विच तो मतलब कि जो भी uh, अभी तक हम uh, कर रहे हैं मतलब कि uh, हमने ये जो भी चीजें एड्रेस की हैं हमने वो सारी चीजें आयुष मिनिस्ट्री तक को एड्रेस की है कि ताकि आयुष मिनिस्ट्री इस चीजों को देखे और नॉट ओनली लाइक वी आर एड्रेसिंग टू सब्जेक्ट वी हैव एड्रेस ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स अप टू फाइनल ईयर सो इट विल बी आई हैव आई विल रिक्वेस्ट एवरीबडी टू शेयर ऑल दोस थिंग्स और वॉच आउट ऑल द एपिसोड सो दैट यू गेट टू नो दैट एटलीस्ट अच्छा प्रॉब्लम तो है ये ही पता चल जाए वही बड़ी बात है so that you can also raise your voice against the fraud which is going in curriculum so that uh, we, we could get the actual uh, things uh, and we can become scientific practitioners abhijit mostly sangeeta ne batai diya hai ki kya zarurat hai aur hamari jo journey rahi hai wo yeah par abhi sir ne jo bataya hai ki 
अभी नेशनल आयुर्वेद डे भी आ रहा है तो एक कि हमारा मोटो होना चाहिए कि एक ही लोग होना चाहिए कि बी दैट चेंज तत् परिवर्तन भाव बिकॉज ये वैसे कहते हैं ना कि एक एक पीढ़ी का जो ब्लंडर है वो दूसरी जनरेशन की परंपरा बन जाती है कल्चर बन जाता है सो फ्रॉम माई सर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टेक पार्ट इन दैट ब्लंडर एंड वी शुड नॉट टेक पार्ट इन दिस ब्लंडर तो हमको मतलब सबको साथ साथ रहे अभी और और ये एंड नहीं है ये सीजन का एंड नहीं हुआ है वी आर थिंकिंग मोर आगे भी दूसरी सीजन आने वाली है सो स्टे कनेक्टेड और हम सब साथ साथ में रह के आगे बढ़ाएंगे तो मेरा कहना ये है कि बस ऐसे ही पूरे एपिसोड फिर से देखिए एंड आई कैन से दैट आई कैन से दैट कि वो पंद्रह एपिसोड देखने के बाद पूरा आपका व्यू चेंज हो जाएगा exactly And abhijit also yeah yeah we are uh, always getting inspired by all the sbbns also yatharta bodha team is very much inspirational to us yeah And also uh, she made the slogan dr remya made this slogan that be that change that parivartanam bhava i am also getting inspired from her also या लाइक अभी जी टोल की एक पीढ़ी का पाखंड दूसरी पीढ़ी की परंपरा बन जाता है सो so, वो आई गेस उस परंपरा को अब तोड़ने का वक्त तो आ ही गया है चाहे कितना भी टाइम लगे ऑल्सो द सीरीज विच वी आर डूइंग ये केवल एक पर्सन की मेहनत नहीं है uh, uh, काफी लोग पूरी की पूरी टीम है इसके पीछे एंड आई वुड रियली लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ देम लाइक like, uh, मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर एपिसोड के पहले आधे घंटे पहले भी मैं कॉल करूं कि यार ये चीजें नहीं मिल रही हैं वी आर ऑलवेज रेडी टू वर्क एंड प्रोवाइड द स्टफ विच आई नीडेड सो दे आर वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड दे आर जस्ट लाइक दे आर बैकबोन ऑफ यू नो दिस सीरीज एक्चुअली सो वी फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यथार्ट बुदा टीम uh we would like to say thank you so much ma'am and sir uh it become possible only because of you only you guys only so uh it is not like that agar, so that is a collective it is all destined by lord great lord great god he only wanted to make this happen sometimes don't know when it will happen but this change is initiated by great god lord narayana so this change let it be a motivation for generations of students and vidyas who are inclined who are bishops who are inclined to truth truth and integrity in their profession so may all of us be a change and i am also really proud of team yadartha bodha and the entire team of sbba coordinators volunteers who are behind hastalamba the program which is selfless program on viral fever for state and also on all the aspirants of real science of ayurveda who are waiting to join us bba the mission of us bba who are waiting to join us i wish each and every ayurveda student doctor and faculty join this mission sooner or later and because it is a pride of ayurveda only it's not a brand or anything this is what ayurveda is intended to be sooner or later let it happen as early as possible hari krishna yeah. so thank you so much ma'am and sir uh, uh, for your wisdom which you have imparted in today's uh, episode uh, sooner we will uh, meet in the next series of topic uh, we will yeah. let you know once we once we will decide <laughs> yeah. okay Thank you. God, thank you. God bless all, and wish all, wish you all the success. Thank you. Wish you all the best for this great job, and all the best wishes. Best wishes Always. to you. All of you. Thank you. Always gratitude, ma'am and sir. Namaste. Good night. Good night. Good night.